Hello and welcome to Retnotronics. Today we are going to start a new tutorial series. This series of tutorials is designed to teach you to program PIC32 microcontrollers with MPLAB Harmony version 3 using XC32 compilers. I myself was reluctant to write firmware for PIC32 using MPLAB Harmony version 2. But after trying the new Harmony version 3, I felt pretty confident developing firmware using the same. In this first episode, we will show you how to install Harmony version 3 assuming you have the latest version of MPLAB XID. We also need the latest version of XC32 compiler. So we will be installing that as well. Should you require a tutorial to install MPLAB XIDE, please check the description below as I have provided a link to a good video. Before we go into the tutorial, I would like to thank my sponsor Altium. Majority of my hardware in PCB boards, in my channel and in this video series are made using Altium and Altium 365. Altium 365 opens a whole new level of PCB designing experience. It supports centralized cloud storage, thus making collaboration easy. If you want to experience the power of Altium and Altium 365 for free, use the link below in the description. So that's out of the way. Let's open up MPLAB XIDE and see how we can do this. I've opened MPLAB XIDE here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to install a latest version of XC32 compiler into this system. We can go to tools and uh, options and embedded and uh, go to build tools to see what is the version of XC32 compiler we have. As you can see in this tool chain, we got XC32 compiler uh, version 2.10, which is a bit old. As it is old, we are going to install the latest version. Installing MPLAB XIDE is not the intention of this video. If you want to do that, there is a good video uh, which I have linked in the description. Downloading latest version of XC32 compiler is uh, pretty easy. So you go to Google and type uh, xc32 compiler download and the google will give you this link click on that link and then you come to this page you can go to download mplab xc compilers here and it will bring you to this part of the page when you get to that page you can go compiler download and then there you can see all the latest compilers for this tutorial we are going to focus on xc32 compiler so we are going to download that so download will take few seconds once the download is done i will get back to you okay we have downloaded xc32 compiler into downloads folder so to install uh, this file we need to double click on it we will be presented with this window go next accept the agreement we are installing the free version of the compiler so next and then this is the installation directory note that uh, installation directory has the same name as the version number which is version 4.10 next i will go with the default settings and uh, the installation has just started right we are almost done with the installation here you can see the, the screen. It gives you the host ID and it gives you the details of the free license you have installed. Uh, note that if you want to try the pro license for 60 days, you can click on this link. We go next and go finish to conclude the installation process. Since we have installed XC32 compiler, now we need to install the Harmony version 3 into our MPLAB XIDE. So to install Harmony framework, we need to go to Tools, uh, Plugins Download, and from there we can go to uh, MPLAB X Plugin Manager. This is a very easy way of installing the plugins. Here you can see all the available plugins. If you click on this tab, now you have to select Harmony 3 here, MPLAB Harmony 3 Launcher. Note this this is MPLAB Harmony 3 and not the MPLAB Harmony Configurator here. This is the old version of Harmony which I not recommend. And this is the Harmony that we are going to use. This is the Harmony 3. 
which refers to version 3 of Harmony. So we select that and go install. It will start the installation process. Accept the license agreement. Go install. It will ask the MPLAB X IDE to restart. You can go finish and it will automatically restart your MPLAB X IDE. We are back in MPLAB X IDE again. So what we can do, we can go to uh, tools again and go to embedded as you can see we got MPLAB Harmony 3 configurator here and we can also see MPLAB Harmony 3 content manager to start with we are going to open MPLAB Harmony 3 content manager and then we go with all the uh, default parts we go next so it asks you the framework path does not exist do you want to create a folder uh, with a given path we go OK And a new folder will be created and what this also does it also create a connection to microchip server where you can download various packages for Harmony 3 I will expand this so if you click on remote packages you can see all the packages available um, to download and if you go to local packages you can you can't see any packages because we have not downloaded uh, any packages from the server so what you can do now to download the bare minimum to operate you can go back to remote packages and you can download the files or packages which have been recommended by a microchip as you can see all the ones with the tick marks are the default packages so what you can download so you can go download selected here click it and um, accept all license so as you can see it started downloading all those packages so it will take some time so I'm going to fast forward this video as you can see we have finished downloading and now we go to local packages you can see it has installed all these packages and they are synchronized to the server so we got the latest uh, packages from the server that's it and now we are ready to use MPLAB XIDE with Harmony to program PIC32. But that will be on another video which will be coming soon. Until then, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you soon.